freedom. It's been 10 long years since I last rode my bike in America, and today I want to take you with me to explore what is the American mountain bike dream. Because I have to admit, to me it means riding some outstanding single track, but also being fueled by orange cheese and service station hot dogs while bumping into welcoming and lovely riders with AR-15 strapped to their backpack. So to help me dip my toes into the American mountain bike culture, I've recruited Bellingham local and Pink Bike's very own Mike Kazima. So Kaz has kindly written me some steps to follow today to ensure I have the best day possible as a beginner to the American mountain bike experience. <laughs> Dear Tom, welcome to America. Things are a little different here than in Canada or New Zealand. We don't say A nearly as much as our northern neighbours and probably don't consume as much maple syrup. We've got our own tasty local food though and tons of sweet trail. To make sure you get the full American experience, I've laid out a list of some things to do and eat during your time in the States. You've got a big day ahead of you, riding and feasting. Step one, go to the gas station. The best rides start, end and pause midway for gas station snacks. But this isn't your ordinary gas station. Da Vinci's make a great Philly cheese steak. Head inside and grab yourself one. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good, and you? Good. Hey, can I try a Philly cheese steak? Uh, six or twelve inch. Uh, oh, I better go twelve. Yeah. <laughs> Onions and peppers in there? Go on. Provolone and house sauce? Uh, sure. You gotta do it. <laughs> I gotta do it. <laughs> I know your name, sir. Ah, uh, Tom. <laughs> I accidentally ordered 12 feet of Philly cheese steak. Still gotta answer my question of what is a Philly cheese steak. <laughs> I, um, I mean, fun facts with Tom that I'm making up as I go. I presume it's from Philly, Delphia. Let's let's give it a taste. See what Kaz has got for step two. Donuts. Levy's Tim Hortons doesn't have anything on Lafines. It's just to your left. Stock up with pocket snacks. Chocolate, please. And then I better do one of these pink sprinkles as well. Yeah, Cheers, good. have a good day. You as well, see you next time. Thanks, see you soon. I bought way too many donuts. <laughs> I had to go for this big pink option because it reminded me of the Simpsons. Step three, soar like an eagle. Time to go biking, get climbing, eventually you'll come into a cedar cut. Turn right to get to the cedar dirt jumps. Spread your wings and jump until you've had enough. I've got that Philly cheesesteak sitting dangerously heavy with a nice layer of blueberry donut on top to really balance it out. And finally, Get in some mountain bike trails. Hell yeah, Kaz, what an option. Okay, we should be getting pretty close to these jumps now. Beauty, as it happens, we get to the top of the dirt jumps and we've found Talis and Orion who not only have you been having a good session already this morning, but you both build and maintain these jumps. Yeah, we maintain them basically whenever it's rainy and gross out, like it's like perfect time in the winter, so we try to fix them up. It's pretty, you know, thawed out right now, but it's a good time to ride and the weather's good too, so yeah, it's just having a good time. Beauty, well, I'm glad I'm bumped into you guys because you okay to tow me into a couple of these? Oh yeah, yeah we'll, we'll show you the speed. Perfect, let's go. <laughs> So the boys have taken us down just the, the warm-up jumps. Now we've graduated to the big jumps to really earn our stripes, eh, boys? I think he's yeah. ready, so he's got it. In Thanks, Taos. It's a big yeah. vote of confidence. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to watch you guys go through once, and then uh, I'll jump on the train.
good. That was sick. Well, what a treat. Talos and Orion, huge thank you for maintaining and building those jumps, but also teaching me how to fly a little bit. I've still got a little ways to go from straight air Steve to <laughs> their backwards whips. But it's all good stuff. What's our next step on our journey, Kaz? After we've soared like an eagle, next step is mohawk. To the top, let your hair down and enjoy. Well, sounds like we've got a bit of a pedal. Then we'll let it run. <laughs> Head up this road, <laughs> called the wall. All right, uh, I think I know what we're in for. <laughs> Kaz couldn't make it all just dreamy donuts and dirt jumps. It, that's ever better punishment than it wouldn't be a fair pink bike challenge without it. That's why they call it the wall, I guess. <sighs> Compulsory standing and mouth breathing. We've summited, and look at this beauty! Mount Baker, holy sh shut the front door. Yeah, look, not a bad spot for lunch. Round two of Philly cheese steak sandwich. Uh, look, it's not quite a New Zealand meat pie, but it's pretty close, I mean, Outstanding stuff. View's not bad either. Get a mad mohawk, you little beauty. Mandatory jump features. <laughs> okay then, spread my wings some more. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey okay, mate, the Garmin is buzzing. This is like, woo! Yeah, Oh, that's so good! It's like these, you know it's a good trail when you can hit it blind. Oh, what? Successfully spread the wings down Mohawk. What a tip, Kaz. Now we're in the snack shack, and I've got some pretty derelict snacks left. But they're still going good. And I think it's time for my next clue. Done Mohawk, we're up to freedom. You choose. You've got two options. Mullet, to keep the hair theme going with some more jumps, or happy hour for something more rougher slash natural. I'm gonna go for happy hour, sun's going down, I'm getting thirsty. Be good to get some rough natural trail instead of these delicious jumps all day. The sun's going below the yard arm. And happy hour sounds like a very sensible trail. Rock roll! Ah! Nice! Woo! What a treat! Just mucking into roots, rocks, jumps. It's got it all. This is outstanding. Oh yeah, they've even got... Oh shit. <laughs> The irony that the North Shore took me out. <laughs> it's uh, can confirm it's greasy. Alright, some stats for you. 13 miles. I have no idea how far that's been. And 3,000 feet. What a good little course. And look who it is. Kaz himself. How you going, mate? Good, how's your day? It's been outstanding. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Kaz, I've had an outstanding day so far. But. There's still a couple steps left in this cart of yours. Yeah, we're not quite done yet. We got a couple more trails, and the good news is they're downhill. And then once we finish the downhill portion, we got some tacos or burritos waiting. Just keeps getting better. Yeah. <laughs>
the cloud, the main line. Oh, what a trip. How's it going? Oh, mate. That is pretty old time. <laughs> oh, cares, what a day. We're just rolling back into town. Been 15.6 miles. Nearly three and a half thousand feet of climbing. I'll take that. Well, Kez, thanks for a great day, mate. I've had an absolute blast. I think I might have to come back and do some more. Yeah, I realise this is just a small part of the American mountain bike scene. I mean, I did start with some wild assumptions of my orange cheese and gas station. You proved me very wrong. Met some great locals. So thanks for watching as well. And subscribe because I might just have some more American trails up my sleeve.